Hello, this is Sally from Launch Code, and today we're going to add a form to our HelloASP.NET application. All right, so I have Hello Controller open and I am ready to start coding. The first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to comment out some of these attributes here. We don't need them right now. We'll make use of attribute routing in a little bit and I am ready to add the form. So I'm actually going to add the form here in index. I'm going to remove this old string of HTML, hello world, and I'm going to add a form tag, the method. This is where we are going to specify this, that a post request is going to be used for form submission here. I want to specify the action as well. Action is going to be the route that we are going to send this information to. So what we want to do is we want to send a name from this form, you know, Tilly or whatever name we submit via the form to the welcome method so that it can display a page welcome to my app Tilly. So I'm going to use conventional routing and I know from conventional routing and that pattern that welcome responds at the route slash hello slash welcome. So that is what I'm going to put here. I forgot the slash. I'm going to put that here slash hello slash welcome. All right, and now we are just going to use string concatenation to put this form together. I need an input input i want to specify the type is going to be a text box i want to give this input a name and i'm going to give it the name of the argument we are using for welcome so name equals name close that out we are going to add another line I need a button here, so input type submit. And I want to give it some text inside that button. So I'm going to say, greet me. And then I need to add one more line of HTML. I need to close out this form here. So we're just going to use the closing tag for form. All right, so in string HTML, we've taken out the old H1 we were using. and We've added a whole new form. Three things we wanna check here. Number one, method equals post. Number two, that action has the correct information for the method that we want to respond at. We need to give it the route that welcome responds at. And number three, when we use that input, we wanna make sure that the name of the input matches the name of the argument of the action method that is supposed to be responding. In this case, welcome, and that name of the argument is just name. We want to save this and we are going to run the application and let's see what happens here. All right, we have it up and running. I'm going to navigate to the route slash hello. Here is our new form and I wanna give it the value Tilly. Once I hit greet me, welcome to my app Tilly. Amazing, so now what we're going to do is just as before, we wanna add attributes to our action method. So let's go ahead, stop the application and do that now. For the index method, I'm just going to take those comments off those attributes. I want it to respond to get requests and I want it to respond to get requests at the route localhost 5001 slash hello world. Now we want to make sure that welcome is responding to post requests. So instead of using that HTTP get attribute, we're going to use HTTP post. There it is, and we're going to give it that route, that route, slash, 
slash hello world slash welcome. And before we rerun this application and see the result, we want to make sure three things about our form number one method equals post great action. Our action no longer matches the route that we are that welcome is going to respond at. So we need to change the value of action here. So slash hello world slash welcome, save and run. All right, here we are. We're going to check that route slash hello world. Tilly, I'm going to hit greet me. And there it is, welcome to my app Tilly. If I hadn't modified the value of action to match that new path slash hello world slash welcome, that form submission would not have worked. It would have tried to go down the other path slash hello slash welcome and it would have found nothing there. Great. All right, so everything is working here. One additional note that we can do here, and this is something you may be asked to do on the job, which is have two different action methods respond to two different HTTP requests at the same route. So what I mean by that is index is responding to get requests at slash hello world, but you may also want welcome to respond to the post request at that same route slash hello world. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly change my attributes, stop this whole application and change the attributes over here. So first thing I want to do is do slash action. And then I want to change the route down here to slash hello world. Save and rerun it. And as that application is starting, let's just recap. So we've changed action, so it should still work. And now index is going to respond to all get requests at localhost slash hello world. And welcome is going to respond to the post request at slash hello world. So if I navigate over here to slash hello world, and I fill out this form again with Tilly, I hit greet me. And there it is. Welcome to my app Tilly. So great job, everyone. And we'll see you in the next video.